Hey, what's going on, y'all? In today's video, we're going to be uninstalling the Advanced Tomato, going back to our original firmware uh, that was originally installed on towards your router. So we're reverting back, basically. Um, scroll down, find which one is your router. Mine's the Netgear R6400. You're gonna select the flashing guide. And I'll give you a couple of steps, really simple to do. It says select the DDR um, WRT bin image first and select race default configurations after the flash. Then after that, you're gonna select the DDWRT boots, then flash the Genie firmware, then wait until the Genie is boots up, then erase and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I have the files already installed or downloaded, and let's bring that on over here. Let me log into my router here, and let's go ahead and do that. Oops, wrong password. Okay. Now I'm logged in. What you wanna do is go to administrator, then go to upgrade and what you're going to do is select a new image which it will be the bin file here then it'll be the check um extension file here so we'll just move that to the side so now let's go ahead and choose the ddwrt and we are going to check mark this after flashing erase all data in the nvram memory so that's what it says right First select and select default configurations. Okay, so yep. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit upgrade and hit okay. And this will take some time to process. Okay, so this is a, uh, a good sign, CRC okay, image uh, successfully flashed. Now we're just gonna wait. Right now I'm just setting all my settings back to automatically obtain IP. So I don't know if it's gonna be the 10.0.0.1 or is it gonna be 192.168.1.1. So we'll find out here in a second. Okay, so it's actually gonna be the 192.168.1.1. Okay, now that we have this popped up, we're gonna go, okay, so it says we're gonna boot with the firmware um just in case if anything messes up i'm just gonna change it to admin and password password just in case okay next what we're gonna do is go to the administration here then it will be under firmware upgrade i'm pretty sure it's under the firmware upgrade after the boots okay so we're gonna select the the R64, and after flashing, reset to default settings. Do I have to do that again? Erase settings until reset. Okay, I don't think that we need to do a reset. So we're gonna go ahead and hit upgrade. Okay, looks like we're back up and running. Um, it just took for a good couple of minutes for the router to officially boot back up. And so this is the first thing that will pop up if you happen to have a Netgear. It will say, okay, it's going to detect all the network settings and you just gotta fly through it, set up all, all these configurations and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And um, we're gonna be back up and running. So it's said on here, um, erase settings using the reset button. So that's in the back of the router. Uh, just to push down and hold, the power light will change the color from white to orange. And after a few seconds of blink, and it will automatically reboot. So essentially, I don't think we need to do step number four, but we're gonna do step number four regardless. So we're just gonna skim through this. Um, do you want Genie to help? No, I'll just configure it myself. That's fine. And it's gonna be admin password. If that's not the case, then it's gonna be admin admin. Ooh, hello. 
And if anything, there's always that reset button to revert back to everything. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. I think I done messed up. All right, now that we uh, factory reset it, we're back to the default screen that we're logged into. So we're gonna do things, what's gonna be asking for us to do. So we're gonna let the genie take its course. Alrighty, after factory setting the router and rebooting the modem several times, um, we got everything up and running. So what I would like to do is go to YouTube, just make sure it's all up and up and everything is working. Uh, what I would like to do next is to do a router firmware upgrade. So we have everything updated. And yes, I would like to update. But yeah, um, this is this is basically it from now on. I hope that this video was very helpful and informative. Um, I will see you guys in the next video and y'all take care. Bye. Protect your privacy and identity. Unlock sensor filters. If you're trying to get to a no-no site or you just want to be anonymous, whatever your reasonings are, you can connect to the VPN tunnels within seconds by using private internet access. Links are in the description. It's so low. Like the the it, the cost is so low. If you're not able to afford for this, then you know you're just broke as just as I am because I'm trying to get affiliates ads going on. Yeah, this is a sponsored video, by the way. Um, VPN features and look at all these great features: uh, secured VPN account, encrypted Wi-Fi, peer-to-peer -peer support, and so on and so forth. And you can connect to 33 different countries, and there's a lot of servers to go around. Plus, there's a fast download. I use this for myself as well when I try to get to those no-no sites. Yeah, okay, let's go back to the continued content and thank you for the support. Links in the description. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care and thank you once again.